Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hey everyone. Hi everybody. Among our travels here in Michigan, when we went to Marshall, we were looking for something to eat, and our travels brought us to Battle Creek, Michigan, home of ECW wrestler Rob Van Dam. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that the whole time since I got in this town. <laughs> I loved Rob Van Dam and ECW when I was growing up. But anyway, aside from that, we're at Don Pablo's. Uh, this place uh, caught my attention on the highway, and I was like, holy crap, that's a rare sight. Even though we found that one down in the uh, DFW area as well. I've done some research on this one since we pulled into the parking lot. It closed in 2016. And just like with the Joe Roots Grill that I did years ago in Robinson Township, this place closed unexpectedly and didn't give any of their employees any notice at all. Employees showed up to work only to find the doors padlock shut and a U-Haul truck out back packing everything up and bailing. Like Applebee's in Weatherford. Apparently that's what happened there. Yeah, so that's awesome. I really love when management decides the hell with our employees. They're on their own. We're just going to close and not let any of them know. Hell with them. Those are the kind of people that I just want to go up to and just blast them five knuckles in the face for doing something like that because that's horrible. A lot of people, you know, they depend on their job, especially food industry workers where, I don't know, I can't speak on behalf of Michigan, but in Pennsylvania, they only make about $3 an hour. They're dependent on tips. So for this place to do that, it's horrible. So it, it pisses me off that, that management would do such a thing, but... I can't say as to why this closed. Maybe it was an emergency or a lease was up or somebody wasn't paying a bill and the landlord came and locked the place up. I don't know. But still, you could give a warning to your employees. And also to note, this does not look like your average restaurant. I don't want to say it looks like a church either or a department store. I have no idea what this is, but it definitely looks like it was something different. Yeah, this one's definitely different. Well... I'll blabber more, but let's go check this one out. It's cool as hell. All right, everyone. Here is Don Pablo's Mexican Kitchen. Definitely a unique looking Don Pablo's. If you saw my video of the one down in the Ridgemar area, by the Ridgemar Mall, down in the DFW area, you may remember just how aesthetic that place was. This is interesting. Like it wasn't a restaurant, but it was converted into one. Doors boarded up. That's wild. Yeah, and sorry about that little rant in the uh, beginning there, but oh my gosh, does that make me mad when places just close up and they don't give their employees any notice of any kind. If it were me... I'll put it this way. Say if I worked here... By the way, I love that in the middle there. I guess that was a fountain. But yeah. I'll put it in my shoes here. If I was an employee and I was dependent on my paycheck and I was on my way to work and I show up and I find it like this and I'm just all of a sudden out of a job, you would panic. Many people I know would panic. They'd get upset. They'd wonder what the heck is going on because all of a sudden your source of income is gone. That's wild. I wonder if those bottles have any product in them. Or if it's just decoration. I can't really tell. It's hard to see with the naked eye. Maybe they were for decoration or maybe there's really product in them. I don't know. It'd be nasty because that's four years old now. But I mean, can you agree with me on that? I'll leave a little poll for you guys to decide. Wouldn't you be mad if you showed up to work only to find out you're out of a job now? 
And, you know, I've heard of managers doing crappy things like that before. Where they just lock up their doors and say the hell with everyone. That was the case with uh, the Joe Roots Grill in the Pittsburgh area. I remember watching it on the news. A lady, she went to go to work, found out she's out and she has three kids. She's like, how am I supposed to feed my kids now? I just bought this house. Trying to just put food on the table. So I get it. But in all fairness, maybe we don't know. We don't know why it closed. Maybe something happened. And maybe it was out of their control. I like the... Uh, these are the security cases for DVD. So that means someone either went to a store and stole a bunch and broke them out. There's Pokemon cards too. And the sirens. That door's padlocked, so is that one. Well, they boarded it shut. Yeah, I wanted to wait a moment for those sirens to kind of go away. They were really loud. <laughs> Yeah, those doors are all padlocked shut. But yeah, like I was saying, you, you never know the reason as to why these places close. Although, in the employee's eyes, it was a case of wrongdoing and they're just out of a job and they have questions. They don't know who to call, who to talk to, nothing. I love that interior though. I can imagine how nice that was. I mean, it's obviously beaten out and you see water stains all over the floor. And all the tables are gone, but the booths here along the windows are still here. Some of them. Yeah, they got this place all locked up. Clearly evident it has been gone for a while. You see all the weeds growing through the cracks in the pavement. And if left like this... It won't take too long until this place is completely overgrown. That was an unexpected find here in Rob Van Dam's home. Now, I don't really watch wrestling anymore. After about 2007, 2008, after the watered down ECW that WWE purchased and ruined and threw right into the ground, I kind of got bored with it because it got way too predictable. You knew when everybody was going to do their signature move. You knew who was going to win before the matches even started. It just wasn't for me anymore. Boy, I love those aesthetics. And I quit watching. I couldn't tell you anything about it for like the last at least 10, 10 or so years. Because I tried getting back into it, tried watching a little bit. And I'm like, no, if I want to watch it, I'll watch Ring of Honor. Or I'll watch old school ECW shows again. Rob Van Dam. That was my boy. <laughs> that interior is cool. A lot of weeds. And we're at this mall. I'm trying to figure out what that was on the end that's closed up. It looks like it said Sears, like when I look at it through my sunglasses. Like, towards the end, it looks like it says Sears over there. But I look over there, and I see a doorway, and I see a sign that says Sears on it. So I have no idea. Furthermore, I'm sure it's not open anymore either. I'm pretty sure I heard about that closing a long time ago. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. Is that cool or what? That's awesome. Now, I completely respect the take nothing leave nothing attitude but boy would i love to have that just to hang up his wall art whether it's on the patio or what that would be so cool but i won't do that but look at that like how it's literally just starting to fray apart darn well that was an unexpected little adventure a little find five hours or so away from home beautiful day to come out here and do this and in, in june even though you probably won't see this video for a while by the time I upload it because of all my Texas videos. Uh, I appreciate your support and watching these videos and I hope you guys enjoy them. And I feel for these employees that lost their jobs unexpectedly. 
And like I said, if it if it was wrongdoing, like if the management just said close it down, the hell with them all, basically, basically, that's when they deserve to get punched in the face. They really do. So, um, but I'm sure anybody would feel that way. I'm sure these employees wanted to deck them if that was the case. But I could be wrong, so don't rule that out. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the uh, video. I just want to do it one more time. Rob Van Dam. <laughs> Sabu, by the way. I really like Sabu growing up. ECW, the whole old ECW gang. Yeah, that's where it was at. The scaffolding match with Tommy Dreamer. Yeah. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really want Mexican food now, but darn it, we can't have any. <laughs> All right, so you were saying about Don Pablo's. Yeah, um, I actually had my graduation party at the Don Pablo's in Fort Worth, the one that Wally filmed. And, you know, Don Pablo's was always like a family favorite. My grandma loved it, my grandpa loved it, my parents, my, my cousins, everybody. We always loved Don Pablo's because they always had great service. And I was personally shocked to hear that, you know, all of the stores closed in 2019. That's when, like, the rest of them were finished. And mm -hmm. those also, to my knowledge, closed without any kind of notice or warning. So, I think the company was in debt, or they had to repay something, and they didn't have, like, the funds to do it. But still, it's sad, because I think everybody liked Don Pablo's. There was something there for everybody. I liked them. We had one in the North Hills part of Pittsburgh, up at McIntyre Square, where the McIntyre Kmart was, which is now at home, hence why there's never been a video there. Uh, but, yeah, that's where ours was, and that closed up and is now the Giant Eagle slash Get-Go corporate office. That's a weird change. Yeah, it's a corporate office, I think, just solely for Get-Go, which is Giant Eagle's convenience store slash gas station. And Giant Eagle, for those that don't know, is our local grocery store chain in Pittsburgh that is trying to be a monopoly, but fails because I won't go there. I hate them. Not to mention they're so expensive. <laughs> That's why I hate them. It. Yeah. I'd rather go elsewhere. Aldi's. Hell, I'll even drive out of town and go to Meyer. <laughs> but anyway, at least I get a ride out of it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was a cool find, and mm -hmm. uh, I really didn't anticipate filming this. I was just looking for us to get yeah. dinner, and Kaylee even suggested, why don't you film it? And I'm glad mm -hmm. I did. I know. So Don Pablo's is awesome, and I would love to hear about what everybody loved at Don Pablo's. Like, tell me what your favorite food was from there. <sighs> Gosh, it's been so many years. Ours closed many years ago. I think we're on 16, actually, wow. if not earlier. Probably about the same time I this one did. I think ours closed, ours closed in late 2018, like right before I left. Darn. I know. Didn't even get Don Pablo's one last time. Oh, well, I'm sure there's something better out there now. So we're going to drive around and look for it. And I want to figure out what's going on with this mall. Because I see the Sears doorway down there. And this store here, which, I mean, it's hard to tell. But through my sunglasses, it looks like I see a Sears label scar on the side, but I'll do some investigating and figure that out. Obviously, the mall is closed at this point in time of the day, but maybe we could check it out some other time. Hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. If you did, give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, uh, please subscribe for more content. And, it got, and again, guys, I apologize for the rant, but if it's because this place closed because management was crappy... It's frustrating. I completely understand the employees and how they probably felt finding out, hey, I'm going to work today. You show up and yeah. no, you're not. You're out of a job. As a person who worked in food service, you know, it's, you know, it's a stressful job. Yeah. But, you know, to just close like that, that just adds way more stress on us. Mm -hmm. You know, people rely on their jobs and their paycheck. And, you know, I hope that they were able to find employment. This seems like... You know, there's a mall nearby. There's all kinds of stuff. So I, I hope they were able to find employment. Hopefully. All right. Well, with that said, we're going to take off and enjoy the rest of our evening. So we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a Don Pablo's delicious day. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Yeah. That's okay. Do it with the full Don Pablo's Mexican kitchen. Have a Don Pablo's Mexican kitchen. <laughs> okay, let me try that again. Mexican chicken. Have a Don Pablo Mexican kitchen licious day. Okay, I give up. That's hard. I give her an A for effort, for trying. That was hard, but...
I'm gonna do this now for future videos. <laughs> All right, bye everyone. Don Pablo Mexican delicious. That's like a super califragilistic expialidocious. Did I say that right? I don't know. There's a Barnes and Noble back there, so I have a Barnes and Noble bookstore. Delicious day. It wasn't too bad. Or no, that says booksellers. Damn it, I did mess it up. Have All a right. Barnes and Noble bookseller. Delicious day. <laughs> bye. Bye.